Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over the Jahikmas, or the Joint Helmet Mounted Queuing System. And specifically, we're going to be going over the HACQ, or Helmet Acquisition Mode, and the LHAQ Mode, or the Long Range Acquisition Mode. So we'll go ahead and get right into it. Well, the first thing is first, we want to make sure that we turn on our HMD with this knob right here. It's also a brightness knob. We'll come over, turn on the Master Arm, and turn on our AA Mode. Go to the radar, and we'll make sure we have our radar on. So we need to make sure that we have our radar on, or else we won't be able to lock anything up via the HACQ or LHAQ modes. So we'll go ahead and freeze frame it right here, and you can see we're in HACQ mode. So how do you get into this mode? All you have to do is press forward on the sensor control switch, and it will enter HACQ mode, which will lock up any target in the reticle within five nautical miles. You can think of it as a radar bore sight mode where the helmet controls a radar search line of sight, basically. Go ahead and unfreeze it here, and you can now see HACQ is flashing if we're more than 80 degrees off our shoulder. This is basically telling us that the radar limits are exceeded and we will not be able to lock anything up. So now we're in LHAQ mode, and LHAQ mode is long range helmet acquisition mode and will lock up anything within 10 nautical miles within the target reticle. So to get into LHAQ mode, we need to press forward more than 800 milliseconds on the sensor control switch in order to change from HACQ mode to LHAQ mode. So here we are on a multiplayer server, and I'm going to demonstrate using the HMD. So I'm asking for a bogey dope and I'm hoping he can give me something. But I'm also looking for missile launches, and there's a splash right there. So he just gave me 3-2-1 for 12, so I'm gonna put it in LHAQ mode and try to find this target. So here I lock up a target in LHAQ mode, I put the nose on him, and I fox a Fox 3 at him. So right now he's defending this Fox 3, and I just notice out my left that there's another bandit. So what I do is I go into HACQ mode using the center control switch, lock him up, fire a Fox 3 at him, and continue to press. So there's a lot going on here, but the HMD is making things a lot easier for me. So all I have to do is just use the HACQ or LHAQ mode, look for missile launches or look for potential bandits. And right now I can see that the first bandit defended against my Fox 3. So I used HACQ mode to lock him up with the AIM-9X selected. And as you can see, it automatically slaves the AIM-9X over to the target. He was too far for an AIM-9X shot, so I went for a 120 shot here. And I brought up the AIM-9X just in case I need to follow it up. And as you can see here, we got a successful splash. So here's one more example. I'm in HACQ mode with the HMD, I'm trying to lock up this guy, the reticle's flashing, which means it's outside the radar limits. But here we go, I lock him up. The AIM-9X automatically slaves over to the target, and I get a successful splash here. Coming around the uh, top of the turn here, and I'm gonna use HACQ mode again. As you can see, when I'm looking up, the reticle's flashing, so I'm outside radar limits. But here we go, I lock him up. It automatically slaves, and I fox a fox too and get another successful splash. So as you can see, the HMD is a very situational tool and it can help us out immensely and get some great kills with it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one and happy hunting.